I see this uh, question here uh, from Samantha, how to call people out on their stories of limitation. Um, you know, a big answer is, is first of all, you start with the yes. Uh, you know, that's, that's the first thing to do because people want to be validated. And when people are talking about their limitations uh, and they're not feeling safe, um, you know, what's really going on? They are in fear and they are looking towards you to become a leader. They want you to lead them. People are desperately searching for leaders and desperately searching for inspiration. So you can have the best program and the best sales page ever and the best videos, but people have to leap to that next level of inspiration because that's the only thing they remember. When they get off the phone with you, they're not gonna probably do the five important tips that you think they should do. They're gonna remember if they felt good by how you talked to them and that's all they'll remember and that's what will make them go do their day and decide if they even want to be an entrepreneur or if they want to join your course if they if they want to be inspired so so go with a big fat yes um, and tell your stories honestly you know you know when they say they're scared of money you know you come up with your story you know I was you know, I had my last $3,000 in the bank and I spent $1,000 on this program because I had to do it, you know, because not acting, you know, the cost of inaction is so, you know, it's so costly, right? So, so dance with people. I actually picture myself dancing with people all the time. We're dancing together. I'm going with it and I'm, I'm, I'm flowing into their reality of how scared they are. Um, and what you can't fake is being uh, empathic. Like my heart breaks for people for real. It's not a stretch I have to do with some sales technique. Like I sit here with people and, and actually I, I cry with how much pain they're in and they feel it. You know, you don't have to cry, but they will, you, you can't fake care. You can't fake caring and they'll feel it. Yeah. Do you have yeah. any suggestions for women who do not have a supportive partner? Because we hear this a lot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, the, the, the first thing I would say about uh, not having a supportive partner uh, uh, is, um, is your, does your partner feel supported by you? Is the relationship actually working? Um, that's, that's a really important thing to look at because you might want to get supported on doing entrepreneurial work and he might be frustrated because he gets criticized all the time. Um, it, this isn't, it's not just unique to women. I mean, men, men criticize women, but it's a little, it's a little more women criticizing men. In, in my years of experience. And if your husband feels criticized uh, a lot, even if, let, let me give you an example. If, if you don't feel supported by him, even if you criticize him for that, that goes against you. So when he's, if he's criticizing you or if he's not supporting you, here's where to move your mind into how much fear he has. Treat him like a client. If he's criticizing you and not supporting you, he's scared. He's scared you're gonna spend all his money. He's scared that you're gonna do all this work and not have time and attention for him. He's scared, you know? So, so what do you say back to him when he's telling you all these things and it's not supportive? You say, you know what? Can we really sit down because you sound frustrated about how I'm approaching my career. And I really want to hear why. And he'll just kind of be like, it, it, he often will have no idea what to say if that's a real, if that's a real interrupt in how you communicate. Um, he'll, he won't know what to do with it, but just sit down with them and say, let me give you one more analogy here. You're annoyed with him because he doesn't support you. You want to learn everything you can about his frustration and at the end, sprinkle on how it affects you. So when 
you know, when we're on the conversation with a potential client whose husband does not support them, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's the advice that you would give them. Say, hey, yeah. you want to sit them, you want to sit him down and interrupt patterns. And you do that by saying, hey, I want to hear all about your frustration about how I'm approaching my entrepreneurial business. Yeah. 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 And then you want to really pay attention to what he does next because you know how we get giddy and happy and just start talking and talking and talking, right? That's when we feel safe. Like I feel really good right now. I had a good morning, you know, I exercised, right? So I'm just talking and talking and talking and I'm not triggered by anyone on this call right now. So I'm just talking and I want to tell you everything. That's what you want to teach people how to get to with their partners or, or with your partners. You want to get them into a place where they cannot stop talking and telling you everything about what you've asked. Sometimes they won't shut up, but that's, that's a different thing. 